What's going on guys? We're back in Forza Horizon 5 and I'm very excited to be showing you this new car. It's going to be this thing. This is the 2023 911 GT3 RS from Porsche. The thing is rear wheel drive, 518 horsepower, 343 foot pounds of torque. It weighs 3.2 thousand pounds. It has a four liter displacement, flat six engine, and it's an S1 class 867. Take a freaking look at this beautiful specimen of a vehicle. This thing is an absolute monster and I love it. When this thing first came out and I saw it in Gran Turismo, I lost my mind. This thing looks amazing. I love how it looks. I love the rear wing. I love the, the reverse ducktail or no, the reverse swan wing and the, this little panel right here on the wing, like the little flap, that thing actually moves. And I think that is very, very sick here in Forza Horizon 5. Taking a quick walk around of the vehicle from the exterior, it looks amazing. Obviously you have your Porsche, your Porsche GT3 emblem, your RS badging right here on the side. Everything looks good. Right, the front end, I love the front bumper. It looks pretty aggressive. The front hood looks aggressive with the dual nostril setup. I think that looks really, really nice. I do like the headlights. They are kind of updated. They have like the uh, the main beam and then the four beams on the outer portion of the of the main beam. And I think that's kind of sick. And you have these, uh, these side ducts and then the bottom duct right here that guides air through the vehicle and provides aerodynamics for the vehicle. And then there's also some ducting over here on the back. And you also have your spoiler. There's also some air ducts up here on the roof. I think this is a nice added touch. It actually guides air to make it as straight and seamless as possible so that, uh, so that there's very little to no drag from the vehicle aside from you know this big rear wing the vehicle does have a single outlet dual tipped exhaust it is right here in the center right below the license plate you can barely see it there if you look at the reflection of the of the ground you can actually see the exhaust tips better but they are there exploding the vehicle we have access to the front trunk area which is generally not even a front trunk area there's no space up here like it you have in like normal porsches but those hood scoops are functional now coming over to the back end you, porsche has this thing where they will not let you see what what is inside of the gt3 okay you cannot look at the engine you have to take apart literally the entire car to get to it so that's probably why they didn't really showcase it here in forza because it's, it's a it's a hassle to get to we are sitting inside of the gt3 rs and this is what it looks like in here for the driver gt3 rs badging carbon fiber you know aesthetics up in here on the inside you have a nice little area right there um i don't really know what you would put there maybe change but that's not a cup holder which is unfortunate there's no cup holders in this car you do have your rev count right there dead center there's a little gold stripe on the steering wheel which is kind of cool and you have your speedometer which is to the left of the rpm gauge i do like the bucket seats it's like a red pattern right here towards the left hand side right past the uh the door sill there is like two buttons right there one of them is for the front trunk to open and the other one's for the back to open which is weird because the back of this gt3 rs doesn't really open mind your ears if you guys are wearing headphones like me i'm gonna do a sound check of the engine three two one and go there it is the flat sex engine putting out about 9,500 rpm i think this car is a screamer this thing's gonna be an absolute blast to drive i cannot wait to get it out on the road speaking of which let's take this thing to its first race we are here at playa soul target with the gt3 rs from its stock form this is this thing is under the track toy category here in forza horizon 5 we are in 10th place i don't know man we're barely being able to push on this uh viper did you see that rear wing look at pay attention to the rear wing when we come to a stop it's actually the little flap actually moves and I think that is a nice touch here in the game because a lot of objects or a lot of, you know, active aerodynamics doesn't really work here in this game. There it is. It went up. This thing is nice, dude. I freaking like, ooh, the turning. Holy shoot. I forget. This thing is rear-engined. So the turning is going to suffer quite a bit. In 11th place, damn, we suck. Jeez. I got to focus more. I, I can't, dude. Like, the car is such a beautiful car. I just want to look at it all the time. Right? I just want to look at it all the time. This Maserati, I swear. It's actually actually going pretty quick all right catching up to the pack really quick we're in 10th place i'm hoping for podium as i always do with these races but who knows what's going to happen okay so i've come to the conclusion maybe this stock form doesn't have as much power to compete with the track toy category because we are in 10th place still and we haven't been able to really catch up to the pack which is very unfortunate i do love this car okay it's literally one of the best looking cars in my opinion of 2023 and of the modern like you know 2020 and up category but yeah, dude, this car, beautiful. Holy shoot, the spin. It kind of bogs a little bit. I mean, I might 
probably be in the wrong gear, but it does kind of bog out of a corner a little bit. It is kind of slow. But we're going to upgrade this thing. We're going to see truly what this thing is capable of in a track toy category race. But right now, we're in ninth place. Kind of unfortunate. But uh, we'll finish it. We'll upgrade it. And we'll see what we can do. Oh, just like that, we passed 8th and ninth place. Ninth and what? I don't know. We're in, se we're in seventh place, I think. I'm sure. Seventh place. I'll take it. Whatever. Let's fit some upgrades to the GT3 RS. So we need a better engine. I'm not saying a better engine, but we need some more power in our engine. Flat 6. 3.6 liter flat six twin turbo a 4.6 liter v8 hybrid Ooh, what is it oh my god that sounds aggressive a 3.8 flat six twin turbo and a 3.2 flat six twin turbo probably have to go with the 4.6 liter v8 hybrid because this is a lot of power i feel like that's going to be really really sick plus 117 we're already at a thousand horsepower with the gt3 rs holy shoot uh let's do slick race tire compound and let's do, we're at 335, let's do a 345 in the back, okay. And a 2, what is that, 285 in the front? Oh, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. We do have track width options, so I'm definitely rocking that. Giving us a little bit more flexibility with uh, our spacing. And the wheels, you gotta leave the same. It's a Porsche. It looks good the way it is. Platform and handling, we do not have any brake upgrades. We have rally suspension and drift suspension. I'm leaving that stock because that's sort of race. We can still take out 300 pounds out of the vehicle. Installing the setup, we are putting out 1,441 horsepower. We weigh 3,016 pounds. We're at 994, and it's going to cost us 105,000 credits to complete the setup. This thing is going to fly. That's all I'm going to say. 1,450 horsepower, this thing's going to fly. We have a myriad of factory paint options, and I am loving it. Let's go through them together. So we have the normal, you know, white with red, a white flat with still with the red wheels, Ooh, a red with a black GT3 symbol and some changed colored wheels. That looks sexy. And we have all red, getting rid of the GT3 badging. We have all black with a ghost GT3 RS badging. Black. Uh, a little bit more of a, you know, a white version of the GT3 lettering. I dig it, I dig it. Yellow looks sick. I do dig the yellow, honestly. Then we have the, the gray. Ooh, ooh, okay, like a darker gray. Not Again with the red. Is this a different color? Am I crazy? It's like an orange then. It's like a very sunburnt orange, like a very vibrant orange. It looks good though. Not gonna lie. I like it. A green. You have to do the green. Gotta do the blue as well. Dude, I don't know, man. I like how the red looks. The red looks so freaking sleek. Like the blue looks good too. Don't get me wrong. But look at the red. Hold on, let me see, let me see. The red looks good. Honestly, but the orange looks so good, too. I, I, I'm going to rock the orange. Like, the sunburnt orange. I have to. It looks so... It looks like a grapefruit. Honestly. Like, the color reminds me of a grapefruit. We are back at Playa Azul with our 1,450 horsepower GT3 RS. Going to wheel spin. Yeah, I know for a fact it's going to wheel spin. But, ooh, pretty flat. Catches grip later third in entering fourth gear. Ooh, okay. We got some... We got serious speed now. We're at 180. Oh, turning. I have to remember. To turn this thing, you do have to break a little bit before the corner. Oh, shoot. I, I got to rewind that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to I'm not gonna let that happen. That's crazy. What the? <laughs> I missed the checkpoint. Okay. Okay. Focus. There we go. Perfect. Oh, God. Brakes. Oh, brakes are way better. I think the tires are helping, and the little bit of weight reduction that we took out is helping an immense amount. I keep hitting the freaking wall. That's no bueno. Oh, God. Wow. Okay. This thing spun in fifth gear. That's wild. All right. Moving on to the third lap. What in the hippie looking car is this? Get out of here. We were in fourth place. Now we're in fifth. About to get fourth place back. There we go. I don't know what first, second, and third are smoking, but they are up ahead and they are zooming. Like, they, I don't understand how they're taking corners. They're basically cheating at this point. I do not see how they can be that far ahead. Unless that's how bad I suck, but I, I highly doubt it. This car is very fast, dude. 200 miles an hour, and it is very touchy with the steering. Like, at a high, at a high rate of speed, it is very touchy with the steering. Like, you barely touch it, and it wants to turn. But when in a lower speed, into a corner, it doesn't really want to turn, which kind of kind of sucks. But it's okay. I feel like we're taking this in fourth place, which is fine. So, as, as long as I can keep it. There we go. Fourth place. I will take it. Look at how good that looks, dude. 
The GT3 RS from 2023 looks absolutely amazing and I love it. We're at the highway with the GT3 RS with 1450 horsepower. We're going to do the top speed run with this thing. 3, 2, 1, and go. 5000 RPM launch control in third gear. This thing's going to spin no matter what. So put this thing in third gear and launch it. There we go. Catch his grip later third into fourth. Already a fifth gear. 170. In a sixth gear. 190. In a seventh gear. 220. Dude, we are gaining fast. And maxing out seventh gear. Okay. Already maxing out seventh gear is crazy. Let's, uh,. Drop this down a little bit. Uh, we'll do a four, yes. And then, hold up, before I continue, let's drop seventh gear to like a, we'll do a 78. Here we go. All right. 235, 240. How are we gaining this fast? We have a massive rear wing, 250. And we're maxing out seventh gear yet again. Okay, let's do this again. Let's come over here, let's drop seventh gear to a 70. Oh, here we go. 54, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. What? I thought I was I thought I was ghosted because of the because of the speed thing. The speed zone. Fine. Alright, here we go. Ah, 261. Oh god, we're we're literally going all over the place. Alright. 258, 260, 61, 62. 263. We're still going. 265. What the frick? 267? Going uphill slightly, holding 267. Oh god! Oh dude, it's so touchy. Barely touching the wheel right now. All right, 268, 269, 270 miles an hour. 271, 271 miles an hour out of the Porsche 911 GT3 RS from 2023 with 1440 horsepower. This thing's insane. All right, what can we do with the corners though? 269. Hold on, I gotta rewind that. There's too much traffic here. But we're able to take this corner, really? 250 miles an hour, we can take that corner. That's wild, what? That, I'm, that's, I'm mind blown, honestly. The, the traffic is so stupid. Why is there so, there's always traffic right at the stupid corner. In every freaking video I have, there's always traffic here, and it's so damn annoying. I'll go on the inside then. Fine, screw you. Oh, wow, that's a lot better. 265. Oh! 250, and we took the second corner. That is crazy impressive. 260 on the second corner. No, 265 the first corner, and around 259 to 255 on the second corner. Not a lot of cars can do that, much less at 180 miles an hour. Do a lot of vehicles struggle with that second corner? That's this car is impressive here in, in the game. That is a wild, wild ride. 1440 horsepower, man. That is crazy. Let me uh, let me just fix the car really quick. There we go. Make it look spiff, spicky and spanny. Make it look a lot better. This thing's a great car, man. Super good car. I definitely recommend copying this. It's super easy to bang out. Come over here to the festival play. It's bang out 20 points on the summer season. And the Porsche 911 GT3 RS from 2023 will be yours. Remember, 20 points. Super easy stuff. Next week, we're going to be getting the Porsche 911 Rally Edition. Definitely recommend checking out this one as well. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you are, to, are new. And turn on post notifications. That way you don't miss another video such as this one. And we also have the 92 RSR Porsche um, here in the game. But uh, this is literally the, the Porsche update. The one update that everybody's been wanting. There's the 911 GT3 R 20, from 2023. And the number 70 Porsche 935. Which I do believe we already have in the game. But still, it's a nice car to have nonetheless. Or maybe we don't have this in the game. I don't know yet. I don't really... I haven't really checked. If you guys do want to see what I'm doing outside of YouTube, follow me over on Instagram. Link will be in the description down below. Aside from that, let me know what you guys think of the Porsche 911 down below in the comments. Are you guys going to cop it? Do you like it? Are you going to sell it on the auction house? I definitely recommend keeping it because this is a very, very unique car and it is super, super good. But let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video.